this is the truth. Hey, make some friends. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> I'm Augustus Waters. I've been in remission for about a year and a half. Maybe you'd like to share some of your fears with the group. My fears? Oblivion. What's your name? Hazel. What's your full name? Hazel Grace Lancaster. Why are you staring at me? Because you're beautiful. The fan screening last night, and there were people out there for hours and hours on end waiting to get in. This book and the movie, it means a lot to a lot of people. Is that an added weight on your shoulders when you're doing the movie? Um, I think while we're doing the movie, it's not something we're really thinking about. Um, but we also are big fans of the book, and I think I can speak for us both that we both really cared about the story, and we still do. And it was very important to us, yes, that we were truth that we that, that the movie that we were going to be a part of was truthful to this amazing book, and um, luckily it was. And even John Green was on set, and um, he was very supportive, and that was very helpful. Um, but then you know you have nights like last night, and then you have all these crazy fans seeing the film, and to see that after the movie, after they've seen it, they were so pleased with the product, that was very comforting and very nice for us. To, to know that we had done it justice. As you say, John Green was on set. Did he have any words for wisdom about the characters for the two of you? Um, yeah, you know, we would talk to him about the characters here and here and there, but um, it was more like in the moment questions like, was that, did I say that right? Or did that tone sound right? You know, because the lines are very catchy in a way. Remember, what, I think with the Anne Frank kiss, we both were like, I, is that right? Is this too much? Is it too little? And we, I think we both ran downstairs and we were like, we need to speak to John. We need to speak to John. And we were like, what do you think? And John was like, it was great. And we were like, oh, okay, good, good. People do have interpretations of these characters from having read the book. Is that something you guys worry about? Uh, you know, not doing it in the exact way that other people may have thought about it? Um... No, you know, it wasn't really about other people. It was about following our own instincts and making sure that we, like, brought these characters to life with um, a, a certain integrity. You, you, you touched on it a little bit earlier. Uh, John Green, he writes the dialogue for them. I think it's in an interesting fashion. And if he didn't write it as well and if you guys didn't do it as well, I think it could come off as a little pretentious maybe. It totally. doesn't. But it could, and I wonder if that was sort of another worry that you guys had going in or that anybody had going in, that the dialogue wouldn't hit as well as it does. It was definitely a challenge, yeah. Um, I mean, Gus speaks in a ridiculous way. It's not ridiculous, but it's very theatrical and it's over the top. And, um, you know, there's, there's two aspects to that because one is making it sound truthful, but the other one is also doing justice to the dialogue. So um, I remember with... How am I? I'm Grant. I'm on a roller coaster that only goes up, my friend. There is something about that that it had to be almost humorous because if I were to say that, like, trying to be real and just being like, yeah, I'm, I'm on a roller coaster that only goes up, you know, that that's not that line. And, it, and people know that line as being this grand line. And at the same time, you have to think it's, it has to be authentic, but you also have to know that this is a big line. This is something you have to hit in it. And, like, to brush over it would be crime. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitPix on Twitter or visit HitPix.com.